Good morning. I'm a little bit late today. Oops, uh, was in a meeting. I just need now to share that here on my Facebook page again. Live on Facebook. Okay. So let me are there in a second. So oh, good morning. Sorry, I'm a little bit late, but I'm there. So let me quickly make sure that uh, you can see and you can hear me. Okay, so this looks like this is working here. Now I need just to make sure that you all can hear me. If you can see and hear me, um, please do me a favor, just put a yes into the comments. Then I know that uh, the technique, technique is working. Hmm. This is still launching. I don't know what's happening here. Yes, okay, Percy, great. I'm happy that you can hear me. I just need to please make sure that um, everybody's also seeing me on uh, on Facebook. Uh, Tiburu, yeah, hi, <laughs> good morning. Okay, we are already a big group here. I'm happy to see that and excited to share with you the information. Let me see. I don't know why it's not on my Facebook group. Ah, oh, there is my live video. Okay, that's working. So let me see. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can see me there. Let me quickly see. Yeah, and I can hear me. Great. So, uh, good morning, everybody. Absolutely excited to be here with you. So, and uh, what we will do today is um, I will talk about, um, yes, there are a couple of yeses. Great. Thanks very much. I will talk about uh, the National Empowerment Fund and uh, what I will also do is to give you a good uh, understanding, I will share their, their uh, website with you so that you have an idea what is available. Corp. And then, Okay, so let me see. So the National Empowerment Fund is absolutely great. They offer, let me quickly see, one, two, three, four, uh, four different uh, uh, products. They have four different funds and each uh, of these uh, funds is specific for um, some, uh, some applications. I think the easiest thing is really when I share the screen with you so that you can really see what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, so I'm sure you can see it now. So the NEF has the Imbibu Fund, the UMNOTO Fund, Rural Community Development Fund, and the Strategic Project Fund. The Arts and Culture Venture Capital Fund is closed at the moment. I've done some applications uh, uh, for this one with some of my clients. So let's start with the general funding criteria. So, and uh, the general funding criteria is please be aware the National Empowerment Fund, each and every 
uh, of the government institution will finance only viable businesses. Okay, that's the first goal, not creating jobs, not being there for the community, because you can't be there for the community, you can't uh, create sustainable jobs if your business is not viable, okay? So, of course, the business must comply with all relevant laws and regulations. That means that there are a couple of businesses uh, excluded, but I think that's self-explanatory. Um, there must be always an operational involvement um, and uh, management positions need to be covered by black people. And um, black people here in South Africa, let me tell you my German version of it, you or your parents were not allowed to vote during apartheid. Then you are uh, counted as black. I don't want to go in, uh, into more details, but I'm sure you un I think that explains it nicely. And the next uh, um, in, uh, requirement is that um, 50.1% of the business needs to be black owned. Okay, so of course we talked about it, the business needs to be viable, that, that you, so that means that you need to show that you are capable to repay the loan. Um, the business also needs to uh, usually create a reasonable number of jobs, but most, if you start a business or if you expand the business, most of the time you will definitely create some jobs. So don't focus too much on it. We will uh, later on then see, okay, how many jobs do you create? And um, it needs to be a realistic number, okay? Um, the geographic location is also important for the NEF. Um, because they like to develop rural or economically um, challenged areas. Yeah? They also would love to have uh, black women participation. And uh, for this one specific fund where it goes about rural and community development fund, uh, the project must have uh, meaningful participations by the community. So, and uh, NEF usually likes to also have um, co-funding. Um, I've done some, uh, some uh, strategic um, projects where we used uh, the IDC and the NEF uh, together to, uh, for, larger, for larger projects so that the NEF does not carry the, the whole risk of your project. Um, okay, so now the NEF also offers some non-financial business support. They have some smaller grants available for some uh, consultant. I'm not going into it into detail. Keep in mind, we only have a couple of minutes here because I only wanted to give you an overview of what is available. The Imbebu Fund is um, for uh, entrepreneurship finance, also procurement finance, and um, they also take some of the franchise uh, um, companies into consideration. They will not finance each and every franchise. There are some they have proven track, proven track record. NEF is more than happy to work together with them but there are also some of the franchisors here in South Africa, they failed, so the NEF will not take them into consideration. And you can see that they have start from 250,000 Rand to maximum 10 million Rand is for startup entrepreneurship finance, procurement finance and franchise finance. So the Umnoto Fund, um, the Umnoto Fund is quite uh, interesting. Um, they range from 2 million rand to 50 million rand. Um, have uh, five different products available. 
it's the classic fund if somebody of you wants to buy and uh, shares an existing company um, for bigger projects, it's, uh, for new ventures. They also um, offer expansion capital if you want to grow your existing uh, business. Um, and I'm not going into more details about the last two ones there. They are for most of you just irrelevant. So, and then there is the Rural and Community Development Fund. It's between one and 50 million rand. Um, and the, this fund also has acquisition finance, expansion finance, and uh, project finance. That means if it is a new venture or a startup. And the sectors funded in this, I can see there are some questions, no worries. I will go through it um, after I just, gave you the overview because I know also last time we had a couple of different questions. Um, so this rural and community development fund takes agro-processing, manufacturing, ecotourism, forestry and fishery, commercial property, aqua and marine culture and non-farm activities if they are rural-based into consideration. And again, uh, here are the key criteria: financially sustainable, more absolutely important. Everything else makes no sense because then it is a hobby and it's not a business, okay? And you can see here that there are a couple of other criterias and each of these programs has a little bit of different uh, criterias so it is really challenging to just give you say okay these are the criteria for any app applications whenever somebody comes to me and says Dagmar this is what I want to do I always double check and make absolutely sure that you qualify for this specific uh, loan keep in mind also there are sometimes some misunderstandings any app offers a loan it's round about 13 percent interest rate and it's between five and ten years depending also on the loan amount okay so you see here already if you want to go to and have a look it uh, this is the website it's www.nefcorp.co.za where we will find all the information so i will have a look here uh, and see if I can answer some questions. So, Sidwell Mbune, okay, Cape Town, pleasure. Okay, he asks, can various funding institutions uh, assist small companies to get them tools for their companies? It's difficult in getting funds once you're over age of 40 years. That's my challenge for, for over four years now. Okay, so um, you need to be able to prove that your business is viable. And uh, something what uh, most of the government institutions don't clearly communicate on their websites is that you need always to have two things in, uh, in place. Number one is all government institutions only finance 90%. So you need to invest 10% into your own company yeah so if you have land and you want to do some farming and the land you have the title deed for it can be part of your collateral but this is always something what i prefer let's discuss this when you have a project just ask us and we can we are able to say okay this is how we can structure it um if you're over i would i Okay, so let's be honest, whoever is over 40 years old, if you think about finding, either way, finding a job, and it doesn't matter if you're in Germany or in South Africa or starting your own business. Um, I'm more than happy, Zidwell, drop me an email. Um, I'll have a look at your business idea and I'm more than happy to give you some tips on maybe, maybe it's not structured properly. Okay um so then 
uh, Tiyani, what would be typical non-farm activities that get, uh, gets considered? Um, everything what has a business to business transaction, you have a high chance to get considered. Okay, so um, like I said, NEF does some franchise and most of the franchises here in South Africa are definitely uh, food related or in the hospitality industry because if you want to do that on your own and independent, raising finance for it is really, really difficult. Raise finance for a restaurant is difficult. It is easier if you are operating with the support of a franchisor. Otherwise, NEF funds um, through all different uh, industries. They will do manufacturing, they will do some property development. And uh, as soon, no, NEF, uh, sorry, Tomelo, NEF will not fund startups with no, collect uh, uh, no, no collateral. Okay. So, and they, NEF, like I said, two things you need to have in place. Number one is you need to have the 10% collateral and number two is you need to have offtake agreements. That means your potential client or customer needs to state in writing, please, as soon as the company XYZ is ready, we will buy from them a thousand units a month for a price of a thousand rand per unit. Okay, so that uh, you, but also the financier can be 100% sure that you are able and capable to repay the loan. Okay, uh, Percy, yes, I will share with everybody my email address. It is uh, Dagmar, but I post it at fundingconnection.coza. Let me copy it and I will also put that onto Facebook because I haven't even checked there the questions. Um, okay, so let me quickly go to, uh, to the Facebook page just to see if there are any questions. Uh, I can see that there are some questions. Okay, so... Um, NEF process is slow and I explain to you also why. If you want to go to a bank and you want to start your business, um, with the bank you usually need to have 50% or even 60% collateral. They also will want to have all the documentations. NEF needs to be 100% sure that you are legitimate, that you know what you are doing, and applying for finance is a complicated and tedious process. I know that. This is also something why Funding Connection is offering support to help uh, companies to apply for grants and loans. And um, if you go through a bank, they also, for startup, I think uh, three months with them is just a realistic time frame between application and uh, then uh, payout. And government institutions only expect you to have the 10% instead of the 50 or 60%. Um, sorry, let me quickly, I was so rushing, switch off my phone. And I'm on my way back, yes. Sorry for that. So I'm back here. Um, and uh, so if uh, commercial banks take three months, I think three to six months for um, government institutions is a realistic time frame. This is never ever a quick fix. And if you think that this process is complicated, then I always explain that it means that you are prepared for what will happen as an uh, entrepreneur to you in any case. Being an entrepreneur means that you need, 
that you are challenged each and every day with some, um, I don't like the word problems, so let's say with some challenges. That's absolutely normal. You are faced with it. You need to be able to handle it. And this application process is preparing you to, to do that. Okay, so be aware it's just a, a way of um, helping you, preparing you what you will face as soon as you start your business in any case. And whoever is self-employed or an entrepreneur, I'm absolutely sure that you all can agree on it and say, yes, so starting is one part of it, but being in, in business is definitely um, challenging. What you do is, if you've done that for a couple of times, or the challenge, you faced already a couple of different challenges, whenever something else comes up, you know and you trust yourself that you can handle it. So it's not that nerve-wracking uh, later on than in the beginning. Yeah. Um, startup um, acquire funding. Yes, like I said, you can use definitely the National Empowerment Fund, but there are also, mm, <coughs> sorry, there are also some other institutions out there. And number one is make sure it's viable and profitable because otherwise it's a hobby. I'm straightforward, sorry. Okay, and that means you need to have some collateral in place and that also means that you need to have some offtake agreements in place to be able to assist um, companies, um, to offtake agreements in place to be able to, uh, to prove that you have access to the market. That's usually the biggest challenge for, uh, for startups, but this is the beauty if you want to start. You can think about what you really want to offer and where is your expertise, where do you have already access to the market, that makes it usually easy for you if you have all these uh, things in your mind and know exactly what you want to do, what you can do, where you know that there are customers, then it makes sense to go, it only makes sense to go into this direction. Otherwise, it will take you years to start, uh, to start your business and really be successful. Yeah. So let me go back to, there are no more questions at the moment on, uh, on Facebook. Okay, let me go back to Zoom. Okay. Okay, Tiani, there are usually, I never ever came across that they uh, will not uh, accept any applications without the collateral. Maybe there are some exclusions, um, but if you, uh, if we are assisting our customers and clients through the whole process, we want to have the chances to get and raise finance as high as possible, over 90, 95%, otherwise we are not taking it on. If somebody doesn't have the collateral, we always recommend do that on your own. I'm more than happy just to check before you submit your loan, uh, your loan application to make sure that you really have all the documentations, that the full application is consistent, okay? then it makes uh, and then try that on your own there is a uh, so Tiboho, there's a tourism transformation fund and application close at the end of august are you going to touch on this uh, one too no there is nef also takes uh, on uh, applications for the hospitality industry um, a portion of it can be a grant um, they have a clear rules and their regulations, what they would take into consideration for a grant application. Um, if you want to have some more details, um, please just get in contact with us. And um, if you thinking about this is for me, let me know what you want to do, uh, Tiboho. And then I'm uh, more than happy to uh, determine if this would qualify. 
the grant definitely will not qualify if you want to uh, buy an existing um, bed and breakfast or hotel. The grant will only uh, be can be used for an expansion of an existing uh, bed and breakfast. Yeah, for uh, yeah expansion. If you need to buy new furniture, if you need to buy some software, if you want to to build some more rooms, if you want to renovate, um, but it needs to be. Um, in your it needs to belong to you already so that you then can be able to use this grant um, you can use the nef loan to to apply for finance to buy an existing um, bed and breakfast yeah do you know who we can access the universal service fund for telecommunication businesses okay tiani um, let me explain what you're doing at the moment to me is you just um, throw at me uh, one uh, information. It's like me telling you, please buy me a car. You don't even know for what I need the car. You don't know how much uh, um, I want to spend. I'm a woman. You don't even know the color of my car I would like to have. So each of these uh, um, funds and it doesn't matter if it's only NEF or or the other uh, funds available here in South Africa it has 20 pages rules and regulations and with 20 pages rules and regulations I mean each and every of these funds has 20 pages different uh, rules and regulations okay so only with one um, information I'm definitely not able to to give you profound advice and I'm sure that's what you expect from me. Um, so drop me an email and uh, let me have a look at it. I'm not too sure, Tiani, don't we do a business plan for you at the moment? Um, I'm more than happy after this is finished to just go through it and say, okay, now this is where we can apply and what makes, makes sense, yeah? Um, when there are no other questions, so we are usually this is only meant for 10 to 15 minutes. We are now already half an hour um, in this uh, Facebook Live. Um, I will just send you again. Tim, raise the hand. Okay, Tim, what can I do for you? Please, if you, you can see there the chat. And then you just can uh, please write in the chat the question and then I'm able to, to answer it. Yeah, I'm waiting for you here. Let me quickly go back to Facebook if there are some other questions on Facebook. No, there are no questions. Okay, so Yashik asked, um, if you have 15% collateral, um, you can offer um, cash, that's okay. And so that's definitely accepted. And like I said, you need a minimum of 10%, so 15% is absolutely in, uh, in order. Okay, so let me go back now to the Zoom room and see if... Um, Tim, no, he didn't write anything. Okay, Tim, please do me a favor. I hope you'll see my, uh, my email address um, and uh, drop me an email or reply to the, the email where you get uh, the, the link or the invitation uh, for this uh, Facebook Live event communicate directly with us and uh, then I'm able to answer the questions. Ah, here. I just need to know if I need funding for the organic farming project that I'm currently busy with. Must I approach National Empowerment Fund, fund or land bank? Um, the classic um, 
institution definitely would be would be land bank okay can land in the rural area be used as collateral for farming applications um okay so like i said collateral is uh, something what uh, belongs to you and uh, most of the time in rural areas the farm uh, the the land is allocated to you you are allowed to use it but you don't have a title deed okay um it it collateral is also something like okay worst case scenario is something what uh, what i don't really like even to talk about is that your project is failing and that uh, the investor or the institution who um, lent you the money can uh, take this land can take the the equipment and machinery sell these things to be able to recoup some of the loan you are not uh, you are not able you were not able to repay and of course this is not possible because you don't don't have the title deed land bank wouldn't be able to sell the land and um, get some money for it so to use it as um, as surety yeah that's i hope this answers the question from, uh, from tomelo okay people um hope um i'm absolutely sure you will enjoy this this week um and uh, hope i got um, you get some clarity about what nef is able to do for you if you have any questions if you need a business plan if you want us to evaluate your your venture or if you need some support to apply for funding with any of these institutions here in south africa drop us an email, we see how we can assist you and um, take care. Bye-bye.